up everyone? We've just arrived on an island called Holbosch here in Mexico. To get here we had to go to a coastal town called Chiquila and then from there we got a ferry that was 150 pesos per person to arrive here very quick. Right now I'm just in front of the place that we're staying. I'll just show it you quickly. So you can see here it seems to have a tiny little swimming pool. Yeah and here you can just see a bit of a view of how the buildings are here. So it's a pretty nice room as you can see, not bad at all. Over here we also have a pretty nice looking bathroom. So this place is called Fragata and I can tell it's brand new, like you can smell the, the fresh paint. So I think it is a brand new place and it only cost us around $25 a night and we're right next to the beach so yeah really good price. So we're gonna head out now and explore the island a bit. So at first glance, this place basically looks identical to Kikorka in Belize. You get like the sandy clay roads, little colorful buildings, and there's no cars here. But you get these little like golf buggies or golf cart taxi things all over the place. So extremely similar. And now we're just heading to try and find some food. We're both really hungry. Buenos dias. So we found our little local spot to have breakfast. Kind of like a tiny little hut here. La Shingada, that's the name. So here you can see some of the options for breakfast. So that's 85 pesos, which is around $4. I'm gonna be getting the French bread, so just a little under $4. And a banana milkshake, which is around $2. We've arrived at the beach now. This is called Playa de Holbosch. It's like the main beach near the center where we're staying. Once again, you got the super creamy white sand, beautiful ocean. There's even some hammocks in there. I can see people chilling on the hammocks. And every beach around here is like this. You've probably seen um, the state that we've been traveling around. It's called Quintana Roo. So every single beach around here just seems to be like these Caribbean style ones like this. Amazing. And behind here, there's still resorts and stuff, but there's no big hotels, I guess, to maintain the laid-back island vibe. So, only small hotels around here. How's it going, Carol? Enjoying the beach? <laughs> The beach is very different to Isla Mujeres and Cozumel. Here the water's more more powdery it seems, less transparent. And the sand is actually really hard. So there's even people like riding the bikes here right next to the water. So yeah, you won't be able to do that on the other ones. I think the nicest beach so far for us was Isla Mujeres. It had the nicest water as well. So that's probably been the best of the three from what we've seen. We're gonna be checking out another beach here later on as well. But I prefer this kind of island vibe where there's no cars and like it's all wooden shacks and stuff and just people walking around and riding bikes. So the actual island vibe here I do prefer but 
yeah, the ocean is not as good as the other ones, I don't think. So we've just rented some bikes, um, it's cost 150 pesos per person, probably the most expensive bike rental that I've ever rented, but that seems to be the price here. And I think now we're just going to go to another beach called Playa Coco, and um, it, it would have been like 30 minutes to walk, so yeah, a bit too far. We've arrived at Playa Coco. Looks even nicer than the last beach we were on. Here you can see it's completely calm, no waves like the other place. Very shallow as well, you can see just people all the way out there. And still has loads of hammocks and stuff. Beautiful. We have found the most relaxing spot ever. <laughs> you can just sit down because it's so shallow. Everyone around here just sat down actually. I thought they were stood up before but yeah it's so shallow that you can just lie down. We're walking further down the beach now to a more deserted area and we've just found out that there's actually flamingos here. You can even see there's a sign here now. Respect their habitat, don't enter the water in the presence of flamingos. So I don't know if we're going to see flamingos. I've never seen a flamingo before. I'd absolutely love to see one. So yeah, we'll see if we can find something, I'm not sure. Flamingo hunters. Where are the flamingos, Carol? Crabs here. Oh yeah, Lo loads of little crabs. Even if we don't find flamingos, it, it won't really matter because look how beautiful this spot is. So the ocean is here and it seems to go into this bay. So you got, yeah, like tiny little bay here. I wonder where uh, flamingos hide during the day. Maybe inside the... Yeah, maybe in the, ma the mangroves over there. Not sure.
okay it is night time now uh, 10 p.m. pretty pretty late and we are actually heading back to the beach that you just saw in the last scenes Playa Coco because it is a bioluminescent beach you don't know what that is it's some sort of like algae that lights up in the dark oh crap it's gone kind of dark now but yeah anyway we head in there now and hopefully the next few scenes will be awesome so we have here the much needed <laughs> flashlight torch because check this out without <laughs> pitch black it's a horror film <laughs> oh can you try it hold the light on my house all right guys so yeah we arrived at the beach now and yeah we can't find the algae the shiny algae at all and you can see it's like thunder and lightning everywhere all around us this is pretty crazy loads of creepy noises can you hear that <laughs> is that a duck or something i don't know or a flamingo is it a flamingo i don't know i can't see anything i can't see shit <laughs> Whoa, you see that guys? What is this sound? Is there a party going on? Yeah, karaoke. <laughs> We're getting closer. Whoa, it's flamingos, guys. No way. Guys, it is legit flamingos. Alright, so we're heading back now. That was kind of fail. We didn't really see any bioluminescent stuff. It's mainly because we're really close to the full moon now. So you got to kind of come at the right time when it's like really dark. The moon is really bright today. So while we were there, we, we could actually see quite clearly, even though on camera you couldn't. But um, yeah, at least we got to see some flamingos. Couldn't really see much you, you saw in the footage, but yeah, that was a that was a funny surprise. Anyway, was zero expecting those to be walking around at night. So yeah, like I said, we're heading back, and um, yeah, this is it from our trip around this region of Quintana Roo. We're gonna be heading back to Mexico City now for one of my best friend's wedding. Uh, probably won't film much with my friends, but we're still gonna do some more exploring of Mexico. Just no more tropical beaches now, but. Yeah, I've already visited so many of these last few days that I'm satisfied already. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.